Alright, this is number two edition of the vlog. Uh, looking back on different moments and uh, memories that I have, hopefully chronologically, in order. Uh, when I left last time, it was 2002. Uh, I was getting ready for my first, uh, my first ever live wrestling show, and uh, that was a big night. It was the week after Sick and Twisted, uh, September 2002. Uh, Sabu was there. He faced Zane Morris for the TV Championship. It was Paul London's last uh, last PCW match, and Mike Fox faced Jared Steele in a ladder match. Uh, Action Jackson and Shadow in a casket match. And also that was the night that uh, Gabe Roach turned heel on Duffy and speared him through the wall um, under the old production area. So that was a very crazy night, but the crazy part for me was before the show, uh, I, had ne I had never been to PCW for a show ever anyway, and I remember getting to the building... And there were already fans uh, lined out front, like like a hundred fans already. And this was like maybe five thirty in the afternoon, and I had no idea where to go, so I went up to the front. And uh, eventually, I I told them who I knew and why I was there, so I was able to get in. And uh, while I was waiting for Thomas, I was sitting in the back of the building. Uh, in the, like the last in the last uh, row of seats, and uh, I remember just looking around and seeing this whole elaborate uh, setup for wrestling that I I had never seen before. It was my first time, and there were guys in the ring working out and guys on the side talking, and uh, I was I was very excited uh, about about the show. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, you know, starting out, I did event staff and holding the guardrails and making sure fans don't get killed or whatever. So, that was a crazy night. Uh, and then I was doing it uh, that that next Saturday and, and pretty much every Saturday after that for a long time. I mean, I, I didn't go to every single show, but I was there pretty consistently, uh, you know, 90% of the time. And I, uh, yeah, I, I got to meet a bunch of the guys over time when I got more comfortable and kind of got to know everybody. And, uh, you know, before the show, you know, the guys would be all standing out by the ring or whatever. And at this time, I was never going backstage. I didn't go backstage for probably my first three or four months there d during the show or even before the show. So when the guys were out by the ring, working or out or whatever, I would, you know, if I was setting up the the aprons or the canvas or even chairs, you know, I, w I, would, I would be able to talk to them briefly. And I remember very, very clearly the first wrestler that I ever really met and talked to was Bull. Uh, he was working for PCW and uh, it was funny. He was really the only guy I talked to that night that was a wrestler. And uh, I was so excited because I, I got to talk to a I got to talk to a wrestler. And uh, later that night, I, I saw him. He was in a dark match that night, and uh, it was just my mindset at the time was you know I, I got to meet this guy that all these people are cheering or booing, and that was really interesting for me. Uh, and then over time, I got to meet some of the other PCW guys: uh, Jared Steele, Zane Morris. Uh, uh, Iron Iron Eagle, uh, just the uh, the uh, most of the ones that aren't even around the scene anymore today, uh, and of course I met Mike Fox, who was my favorite. Uh, he was my favorite wrestler in the area, uh, in PCW for sure. Even before I ever went to the shows, I thought that he was, uh, I thought he was great, and. Uh, so when I met him, I was scared out of my mind. Uh, not because he was rude or, or imposing or anything, but like, he was a he was a star in my mind. So I got, I got to meet 
I remember the first time I met Fox, uh, who, who by the way, skipping ahead, has come on to be one of the one of the the, the nicest, uh, most genuine people that I know. Uh, I've I was I was able to be at his wedding and uh, to know his family a little bit, and he's great. I I love Mike very much. He's very high on my list of people that uh, that I truly respect unlimitedly, if that's a word. Unlimit unlimity whatever and uh, the 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 two big shows of 2002 were Heroes to Legends in November and then Triple X Miss in December uh, Heroes to Legends was that was I remember that being a really great show uh, and then Triple X Miss was good as well and, and the crowds were they were they were the the crowds you know were huge at that time because PCW was still in UPN and uh, I remember very clearly by this time, as event staff, we were able to sometimes be in the show, uh, hold people back, separate fights, uh, get in the ring and, and separate people. And that was so exciting to me. Believe it or not, I was actually one of the smallest guys on event staff. That was kind of funny and ironic. And so anyway, the, at Come Triple Xmas, uh, there was going to be a spot where we were going to have to hold the guardrails. Um, the guardrails... Here's the ring apron. Here's the guardrail. They were gonna bridge another guardrail on top to create a, a bridge, and our job was to hold the guardrail that was already secure on the on the on the ground to make sure it doesn't shift back when when the guy uh, hits the guardrail. And so I, I did this, but I was doing it like half ass and not really paying attention. And so when the guy hit the guardrail that was bridged, the guardrail I was holding shifted back. And it uh, smacked me right, right in the eyebrow, and uh, that's probably the most I've ever bled in my life. Uh, it was, you know, I had blood all inside of my face. It's actually on YouTube. If you search uh, Jeremy Sage, Jared Steele, Triple Xmas, uh, it's the actual UPN uh, video footage, and you can see in the replay as well. Uh, it just smacking me right in the face. <laughs> so I, I, that was the first time I'd ever been backstage during a show. And uh, I actually had to see the chiropractor, who was the doctor at the time, uh, Nick Gagich. And uh, I, I got I got a bandage real quick, and I was fine. My uncle was actually at this show, so he I ended up going home with him, and I had a black eye, and it was all swollen. And but the thing I was mad about was we were gonna uh, do a spot with the Cowboys from Hell and Action Jackson. Uh, Cedric and Putsky were going to get arrested in the ring. We had an actual cop that would be at the show, and we were doing a spot where he, uh, they were going to get arrested in the ring, and security was going to come in and break it up or whatever. And man, I was so excited, and then I didn't get to do that. I was really upset for a, for a while. Um, and that happened on December twenty third. Um, cr uh, school had let out the day before, and so I had all this time over Christmas break. Uh, with this black eye, and then as soon as I get back to school, my eye is fine. So that sucked. I didn't have a cool story or evidence for people. But that that was a fun story, and uh, so that that was 2000. That was the end of 2002. Um, and then the next year, 2003, which I'll get into uh, next time. 2003 was uh, really significant for me because that's when PCW Uncut started on. Friday nights, and if it weren't for Uncut, uh, I don't think any 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 of this would be possible that I've done so far. So that'll be next time for 2003. Uh, I met a lot of the friends that I still have now uh, in that year. Um, so th that's going to be really interesting. The, these first two blogs are just uh, laying the groundwork, I guess. Just these stories don't really have much detail because there's. They're not really insignificant, but they there is not much substance there. So that was 2002, and uh, I'm looking forward to sharing more. I appreciate all the nice comments. Uh, thank you, Tadlock. You'll definitely be in the. Uh, you'll be more significant in in 2006 and on. So thank you all very much for the interest, and I hope to get back with you soon. Thank you.